Hello, my beautiful people. Today, I have decided to stay in the car to make this particular video. I didn't want to be distracted by, you know, anybody. So I decided to be in the car. At least here is a little bit, um, it's less noisy here, but you can hear the cars, you know, passing and then some walkers, uh, you know, going by. But that's not going to stop me from concentrating doing this particular video. This particular video, I have been longing to do it. I have been trying to do it for some time now. Sometimes I'll bring up my camera, I mean my phone, and then I'll dump it. It has taken me some time to do this video. I didn't want to do this particular video anymore. I said, let the bygone be bygone. Person where one learn, making learn. Person where no one learn, making no learn. I say, it no concern me at all. It's none of my business anymore. But I said, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why should I even keep quiet? Sometimes some people, you have to talk and talk and talk, and then they will learn the hard way. If you don't talk, they may not even learn. So you have to talk and keep talking and keep talking until they learn. Don't worry about my eyes. I decided not to wear glasses today. Let me see how it's going to be. Um... My eyesight is not getting good at all. It's not it's not getting good. But today I said, okay. Yesterday I tried it, sorry. I tried it yesterday and I walked around with no glasses. I was all right. And then today I said, I'm going to drive with no glasses. And I've done it. I didn't have any problems at all. The only thing sometimes is a little bit cloudy. My eyes are a little bit cloudy and then watery. And then... But apart from that, I've been doing okay with my driving. I haven't had any problems. I've got my glasses here. It's still here. But I said, no, I'm going to keep it today. Hang on. Though I've got an um, appointment, optician appointment, uh, sometime next week. Uh, then I'll see how it goes. So, my people, as I was saying, this particular thing has really troubled me a lot. It has really shown me that all that glitters is not no gold. Sometimes people will draw close to you. You think, oh, this is my friend. That person is my friend. Not knowing that those people are there for their own selfish interest. I recollected some time ago, uh, Prophet Rasin, he came to, then he was still in Synagogue Church of All Nations. And then he stood on the altar of liberty and he preached the word of God. We all listened. We all watched him preach the gospel of God. It was so nice of him to do that. It was so nice of him to stood on the altar of liberty to preach the word of God. Many people really enjoyed his preaching. He's a good preacher, believe me. I like listening to his preaching. His preaching is very, very good. For once, I haven't thought that Prophet Rasin is not a man of God. I don't think I have ever thought that this particular person is not a man of God. We all can make mistakes. We all can make mistakes. Even the best preacher can make mistakes. The best Man of God can make mistakes. As far as you're a human being, 
you're bound to make some mistakes. Some people, they don't accept it when you push their mistakes before them. They don't acknowledge their mistakes. If you do a mistake and then you acknowledge it, it's easy for people to forgive you. It's easy for some people to say, oh, maybe he did this by mistake. In this particular video, I'm thinking that Prophet Rasin would have made a mistake by not standing for his mentor, by not defending his mentor. I think that was a very big mistake that he made. Such thing will make some people to question his calling. It will make some people to doubt his preaching. When that documentary about Senior Prophet TV Joshua was aired on uh, YouTube by BBC News Africa, a lot of Prophet TB Joshua's disciples, they came out, they spoke what they knew about their mentor. They defended Prophet TB Joshua. All the five wise men, except Prophet Rasin, who did not speak. I've watched uh, wise man Daniel he made a video about Prophet TB Joshua. His man Harry made a video about Prophet TB Joshua. Wise man John Chi made a video about Prophet TB Joshua. Wise man Christopher made a video about Prophet TB Joshua. Except wise man Rasin, he didn't say much of what he knew about Prophet TB Joshua. He didn't defend Prophet TB Joshua. You see why I said that some people, they make mistakes without realizing what they did was wrong. What wise man Racine did was really, really wrong. He might think that he's so clever not speaking up. He might think that he's so clever you know, shying away from what happened if not by the special grace of god i mean the special grace of god that documentary would have ruined the synagogue church of all nations if god is not involved in their matter i mean the synagogue church of all nations the BBC documentary against senior prophet T.B. Joshua would have demolished that particular church. It would have demolished it physically, spiritually, and otherwise. Because God was involved in their matter, God was involved in Synagogue Church of All Nations, nothing happened. Some people thought that 
people like people like me would have you know given up i wouldn't have been able to speak about prophet tb joshua again or mama evelyn joshua people thought maybe this is the end of my journey on youtube that's not the end of it yes i saw a comment somebody came and said now emma you need to pack up prophet tb joshua's uh, church is closed nothing about prophet tb joshua's church again you need to pack up i said as far as the God of Prophet TV Joshua is still alive. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving an inch. Even if this particular door, this particular medium I'm using now, if it closes, another door will be opened for me in another way. If they like, if they shut this channel down, I will still open another channel and Prophet TB Joshua's legacy will continue. It's not going to stop. Wise man, uh, Prophet Rasin, I respect you so much. I really, really respect you. You are one of the prophets in synagogue church of all nations that i respect and i felt that you have let me down what you did was really really bad you can't run faster than your legs your head and your eyes they will all go together prophet tb joshua was part of you he made you what you are today he enlightened you more about god He developed your faith in God. What I mean by that, he taught you how to have faith, more faith in the Lord, of which you carried out those teachings that Prophet TV Joshua gave you and you were able to succeed in the work of God. Prophet T.B. Joshua carved you. Prophet T.B. Joshua molded you. Yes, Prophet T.B. Joshua is not your biological father. But indirectly, indirectly, he is your father. He looked after you. He gave you a stand. He gave you a mantle. He gave you the altar. I remember from time to time, you normally come on stage to preach the word of God. All I'm trying to say in this video is that Without Prophet T.B. Joshua, nobody would have known you today. Prophet T.B. Joshua made it possible for you to be known. It's just like me. Without Prophet T.B. Joshua, most people wouldn't have known me. You know, say sometimes some people know they like the person where they tell the truth. I like telling the truth. If you won't choke me for here, make you choke me. I like saying the truth. 
If not Prophet T.B. Joshua, nobody would have known Emma Olaro. All over the world now, I am the most talked about YouTuber. People talk about me, both good and bad. People talk about me. Why? Because I am attached to Prophet TV Joshua. Because I'm a child of the Most High God, the God of Prophet TV Joshua. I really thank God for the God of Prophet TV Joshua. The God that gave me this particular uh, platform. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. Um, Prophet Rasin, it's not too late. It's not too late for you to readjust and uh, identify your mistakes. It's not too late for you to apologize. I think you need to apologize. A lot of people, you fail their hand. A lot of people who believed in you, you really disappointed them. You can't fail their hand woefully. It's good for you to apologize. Don't think, oh, maybe nobody is talking about that documentary again. So the bygone is bygone. It's not a bygone. You kind of denied your mentor when he needed you most. The other wise men, they did so well. They stood for Mama Evelyn Joshua. I know you're very far away from uh, the Synagogue Church of All Nations. You're not in Africa anymore. Other wise men, from time to time, they come to Synagogue Church of All Nations to support Mama Evelyn Joshua. From time to time, you will see them in the arena of liberty where they started their journey. Some of them are still there up to today. Some of them cannot do certain things without consulting Mama Evelyn Joshua. I know that for sure with wise man Daniel. That one is like uh, the last born of Mama Evelyn Joshua. He can't do anything without telling Mama Evelyn Joshua. Wise man Rastin, it's never too late to ask for forgiveness. It's never too late for you to apologize. I know it's gone uh, past how many months? I mean, a couple of weeks since that uh, uh, BBC documentary happened. At least it's not up to a year now. Even if it's still a year, you can still apologize. My people, don't worry. I can't look at the camera because uh, it's a little bit blurry for me. I can't really look at the camera. It's a little bit blurry, so I can't really look at the camera. So you might see me looking somewhere else. But my mind is still there, you know. My mind is still there. Don't worry. So what's my Rasin? This particular video... 
is not in any way to make you feel bad. This particular video is not in any way to make you to stop your ministry. As I said in the beginning, you are a real man of God. You are a real man of God. And nobody is above mystics. The deed has been done. It's high time you asked for forgiveness. A lot of people are eager to forgive you. So many people will forgive you. So many people will accept your apology. Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure you share it so that wise man Racine can see this video. And my people, if you really want to get in touch with me, my email address is in the, in the bio of my YouTube uh, account. We are, you can see my picture. If you click on it, my email address is there. If you want to get in touch with me, that's fine. And make sure as you're watching my videos, click on the like button and subscribe as well if you haven't done so. I love you all. I cherish you all. And may the love of God, the favor of God never depart from each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Prophet Rasin, God loves you so much. God loves you so much. As it says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever truly believe in him, that person will not perish. Instead, he or she will have everlasting life. Everlasting life is awaiting you and I, Prophet Rasin. Everlasting life is awaiting all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to leave you guys now. Tara, bye-bye.